We've already traded as well. US markets opened on Monday after a holiday weekend to the news of a resilient US labor market after a beat in a Friday's non-farm payroll figures. Uh, so they grew by 236,000 for the month above the 228,000 expected, while the unemployment rate uh, had a surprise dip to 3.5%, where a hold of 36 was expected. So this saw rate height expectations from uh, the FOMC at their May meeting move up to around a 70% chance of a 25 basis point hike, uh, as according to the Fed fund futures pricing. Um, that put equities under pressure early in the session. Uh, Dow Jones did find support at its 100-day moving average and pulled higher, finishing the session up around 100 points. Uh, the NASDAQ was a lag of uh, finishing down slightly. Uh, in FX, the rise in rate expectations uh, saw the US dollar rally against its peers. We saw a lot of broad dollar strength across all pairs, really. Uh, the Japanese yen saw notable weakness after Friday's job report. Um, safe haven flows to the yen were reduced. Higher yield differentials also put pressure on the yen. Um, adding to this was comments from the new Bank of Japan governor, Ueda, uh, who warned against sudden normalization of policy. So that means basically they're continuing with the, the dovish status quo um, that's been going for the last few years. So this saw the dollar yen pair surge higher, hitting one month highs in recession. Um, ge geopolitical risks uh, around the reports of Chinese military drills in Taiwan or around Taiwan also saw notable weakness in cyclical currencies, um, particularly the Aussie dollar and the Kiwi dollar. Aussie dollar fell to around 66.25 US cents uh, before finding some support at the, the low set back in late March. Uh, the Kiwi dipped below 62. Uh, the Aussie Kiwi is still treading water around just under that 107 kind of psychological level there. Um, gold prices, they were under pressure during the session from a stronger dollar. Uh, rising yields also doesn't help price of gold. So they pushed uh, decisively below the 2000 US dollar level, uh, settling around 1990. Crude oil was down modestly, still holding its gains from the OPEC plus surprise output cut uh, the weekend before. Um, continued to trade in a really narrow range uh, that it's held since then. So that's an interesting one where the break, the next will be in that one. Uh, scheduled economic announcements today, we have a pretty quiet calendar ahead of a, a busy few days starting tomorrow, US CPI. Today is really only notable um, figures, Chinese CPI, European retail sales, both of which already um, kind of, they know what to expect out of them. So not much, not much of an impact on the markets is expected from either of them.